Hi students, in today's video I am going to discuss coordination chemistry isomerism topic. Here concept I will explain after that I am giving the shortcuts also definitely you will enjoy this topic. Ok let's begin first isomerism. Isomerism introduction part stereo isomerism. So first year we have learned what is isomerism structural isomerism stereo isomerism but briefly i am explaining if you need any queries if you want if you have any confusions in first year videos already i have uploaded organic chemistry stereo isomerism go through that so briefly i am explaining your stereo isomerism stereo isomerism further uh, divided into two types that is configurational isomerism conformational isomerism conformational isomerism means uh, due to single bond so CC single bond we can observe. Configurational means due to restricted rotation, double bond C and uh, uh, some uh, restricted rotation. Because of restricted rotation, we are getting configurational isomerism. Those configurational isomerism further classified into two types. One is geometrical isomerism, another one is optical isomerism. In today's video, both I will explain geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism. Okay, first what type of complexes we have, how they are asking questions, I have written here, see. Tetrahedral complexes, how many GIs are possible? How many optical isomers possible? Like that they are asking questions. Square planar, octahedral complexes. Now let us start with one question students. First tetrahedral complexes. Tetrahedral complexes GI. GI and optical isomerism both. So geometrical isomerism. What is geometrical isomerism? Compounds are having same molecular formula but differ in their spatial arrangement of groups and atoms. So compounds are having same molecular formula, same molecular formula differ in their, differ in their spatial arrangement of atoms or groups. Spatial arrangement of, spatial arrangement of atoms are groups atoms are groups okay now look into this first one let's start with the tetrahedral complex first one tetrahedral complexes in tetrahedral complexes one example you can take it which is frequently asking question is okay tetrahedral complex just you can take it carbon here and uh, one atom atom a atom a and next to atom b next to atom c three dimensional picture away from the observer away from the observer i am writing dash lines this is c and uh, towards the observer solid wedge line this is d okay c here, what is the angle angle between any two atoms? Angle between any two atoms is 109 degrees 28 minutes. Okay, even this one also, between CD also, between BC also, between AB also, angle is same. Angle is same. So, that is the reason spatial arrangements we are not observing uh, different way. Space, there is no uh, change in the angle. That is the reason it does not, it does not show geometrical isomerism. Here, no geometrical isomerism. So, why? Because if you flip this one, AD, you can write A here, you can write D here. Again, you can interchange this one. So, finally, any two, between any two atoms, angle is same. Angle is same angle is same spatial arrangements uh, differ we are not observing that's the reason tetrahedral complexes what you remember tetrahedral complexes do not show geometrical isomerism no geometrical isomerism now next one square planar complexes square planar complexes time i will give you shortcuts also square planar complexes in square planar complexes, we have different type students. First one, I am writing your MA4 type. That means M is nothing but metal atom, central metal atom, central metal atom and A is nothing but ligands. A is nothing but ligands. MA4, MA3B. So MA4 is nothing but all are same ligands, all are same ligands. Uh, 
square planar complex one you can take example nickel uh, nickel cyanide in vb theory also we have discussed this question okay for this for the square planar complexes how many geometrical isomers they will ask and next to one of the frequently asking question is platinum platinum nh3 that i will discuss next case here i will discuss this one okay nickel cyanide four times minus 2 complex what is the nickel oxidation state here students plus 2 okay for this one how many geometrical isomerism they are asking how many geometrical isomers they are asking see students how you will write central metal atom this one square planar means a and ligand a and ligand a ligand a we are writing like this this is square planar complexes only one form we are getting only one form we are getting so here m a a what is the shortcut we are writing you can write like this m a a opposite opposite m a a and this is what a a only one type we are writing only one type we are writing only one isomer is possible that's why there is no geometric isomerism any compound which exhibits geometric isomerism means definitely it can show cis and trans cis and trans here only one form is possible that's why you here you can write no geometric isomerism okay starting it is little confusing once you understand next topics and next cases then you can understand more better students now go to the next example what is the next Next example, I am taking M A three B. A three B. So this one geometric isomers possible or not? You can see or geometric isomers possible or not? So M, what you will write A, and this is A, and what is this? Uh, one more A, and this is B, right? So next you can write another form, another form. Just you flip this two, you flip this two. So here M A A. And if you flip this one, B, A, this is. Geometrical isomers impossible. Geometrical isomers possible. No geometrical isomers. Why no geometrical isomers? See students. See students. These two are identical. These two are identical. How can you say? You can see here. What is this? A opposite B is there. A B. And A opposite A A is there. If you write here A opposite A A opposite B is there. See same form we are getting A B A A. That's why only one form. One form no geometrical isomerism. Okay. Next A to B to M A to B to. Third one. Third case. Third example. M A to B to. So just now I gave one example. Platinum. NH3 twice Cl2. This is one of the frequently asking question. Okay, for this, how many geometric a geometric isomerism possible or not? If geometric isomerism possible, definitely it can show two forms, cis and trans. Cis means similar groups on same side. Trans means similar groups on opposite side. Right. Now you can see. So here M A A. You can write B B. See similar groups on same side. What we call it as cis. Next one. What is this trans students? Trans. What is this? Uh, A. And next one. You here you can write. Here you can write A. Here you can write B B. So what is this? We call it as trans. M A A C opposite opposite you can uh, you can cal you can do like this M A A opposite sides so this is trans so this is also trans this is similar groups on same side we call it as cis, cis and trans so and uh, the same that example means just you can write central metal atom is platinum you can write two ligands N H three N H three and two ligands chlorine chlorine see here similar groups on same side no then what we call it as cis this cis platin cis platin used as anti cancer agent anti cancer agent this is one of the frequently asking question in competitive exam so cis platin acts as anti cancer agent next one with this trans you can write trans means similar groups on opposite side nh3 group and nh3 group what is the cl group cl group that's it this is trans okay trans 
now what is the shortcut we are using the shortcut applicable or not check it so every time writing uh, structures two three structures and checking it takes lot of time so then what we will do the shortcuts we are using m tell me students what you will how you will write a a b b combination next one m what is another one a b a b combination yes how many geometrical isomers possible students yes geometrical isomer possible if your geometrical isomer is possible definitely it's so cis and trans clear now next one m a b c d two geometrical isomers a to b to next case what is the next one a b c d m a b c d that means four different ligands they will give question one is pyridine one is ammonia and one is chlorine and one is bromine something four different ligands they will give four different ligands then you can apply the shortcut what is this combinations you can write a b c d combination right next one what is the combination uh, yes a c a c b d combination we are writing next one what we are writing m uh, a d a d b c combination that's it any other combination possible no it's not possible another combination how many gis are possible students three geometrical isomers possible three geometrical isomers possible see very easy trick a very 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 easy and this is the best one within second you will get the answer in competitive now next one octahedral complexes square planar complexes only these three types they are asking four types they are asking students next one octahedral complexes the octahedral complexes means how many ligands students six ligands six ligands okay uh, here what is uh, octahedral complexes geometrical isomers how many possible optical isomers how many possible all they are asking if it is optically active geometrical isomers is nothing but the compounds are having same molecular formula but different their spatial arrangement of atoms or groups but optical isomerism is nothing but optical isomers optical active is nothing but on paper we are showing chiral carbon that is not necessary condition absence of plane of symmetry and the next one especially what is this optical isomerism plane polarized light we are showing no so this is plane polarized light this plane polarized light if you send into any organic compound any organic compound any organic compound the output is same output is same though that is optically inactive inactive but here it is showing rotation it is showing rotation like uh, right hand side rotation it is showing after enter into uh, organic compound after enter into organic compound the rotation is changing it is dextro rotatory so the right hand side is nothing but dextro rotatory but it suppose sometimes it will show left hand side also that we call it as levo rotatory if it is optically active finally what is the conclusion? if it is optically active definitely it can show two forms that is d and n forms d and n forms okay students now come back to this one here geometrical isomers optical isomers both they are asking geometrical isomers and optical isomers first one first m a b c d this question also they are asking a b c d m a b c d is so optically active or not they are asking optically active or not they are asking you can look into the students first we will write one more m a 4 we can take it m a 4 m a 4 so how to write the combination m uh, a a next again a a a a then what happened what only one isomer is possible no, no geometrical isomerism no optical isomerism also how can you say optical isomerism is not there so what is the note point students note point is if ligand pair is repeating ligand 
where is repeating repeating that is nothing but a a a a two times it is repeating that is optically inactive optically inactive next one more note point one more note point what is the one more note point i am writing like and pair is repeating a a a a optically inactive and one more is there a a like and repeating also like and repeating also optically inactive like and repeat optically inactive these two logic points you keep it in mind we'll work on different questions now next uh, second example you can take it uh, m a b c d above examples first time explaining after that we will look into the octahedral complexes m a b c d m a b c d it can show optically active or not check it so m central metal atom and you can write this is e students and this is b and uh, c this is out of the plane c and you can write d and this is c so what is its mirror image if you write its mirror image vertical no change vertical no change a and this is what d but what is this one this it flip this to c and this is what d so if you uh this molecule if you impose here that means leave your left hand right if your left hand and right hand side uh, don't uh, uh, don't in, uh, don't impose directly so one on the another one on the another so then one on the other means then thumb and uh, uh, four uh, last finger it is not matching so thumb and this thumb that thumb is not matching and the uh, right hand side thumb and uh, left hand side uh, last finger it is matching it is not superimposable see simple logic students what is this if you this compound if you put on this if you put on this if you put on this okay then what happened ad is matching ad is matching but cd is not matching no here it will come c here it will come d so but here it is cd it is not matching it is not matching it is b students it is b it is not matching it is not superimposable means then what happened it is optically active compound if it is optically active definitely it can show two forms to that is d and l this is d and this is l like that it can we can show now next one m a 6 m a 6 ye 6 octahedral complex is started so m combination you can write a a a a a a combination okay see any other combination is it possible any other combination is possible no it's not possible then you can say it is what is this no geometrical isomerism no geometrical isomerism no optical isomerism also why students see it is repeating ligands also repeating pair also repeating so optically inactive next to fourth one fourth one m a 5 b m a 5 b so then write the combination students a a next a a next uh, what is other combination a b that's it that's it here also see it no any other combinations possible no it is no geometrical isomerism and optically inactive optically inactive why it is optically inactive so here pairs is repeating right so now next one what is the next one m a 4 b 2 this is one of the frequently asking question m a 4 b 2 so it is this what is i am giving example also nh 3 4 times and cl2 this is proleptic complexes two different ligands so we can write geometric isomers possible see at least two ligands will be same at least two ligands are same it can show definitely geometric isomerism it shows cis and trans similar groups on same side cis similar groups on opposite side trans okay so we will write the combinations also so we will write the combinations a a uh, next one a a next one b b combination right next another combination students what is this a a same thing you can write and a b a b that's all 
that's all any other possibility no so finally how many geometrical isomers geometrical isomers equal to 2 optically is it active or not optically inactive it is optically inactive why it is optically inactive so ligand pairs is repeated here also repeated so optically inactive both are optically inactive now next one sixth one Sixth combination you can take it M A3 uh, introduce third one B to C. So then you can see what is the combinations write it first M A type next A B type next B C B C combination right. So next another combination what is the students A A uh, next uh, yes A C next other combination B B combination you can write. Next another one, what is this? A, B, uh, next one A, B, next one A, C combination. Right? Any other possibility? No other possibility. Finally, how many geometrical isomers? Geometrical isomers equal to 3. Geometrical isomers equal to 3. Is it optically active or not? Check it. See, it is repeating. Same ligands is repeating. Repeating means optically in optically inactive here a a a c b b b b is repeating b b is repeating so optically inactive next one what is this a b a b so pair is repeating so that finally optically inactive geometrical isomers 3 but optically inactive all now next one generally we are taking uh, symmetric carbon okay normal case is done but here it is easy very easy trick next m a 3 b 3 combination a 3 b 3 can you try this one students m uh, a a next one a b next one b b combination right now next one a b uh, next again a b again a b combination so finally, so here number of geometric isomers, how many? Number of G A is equal to 2. Is it optically active or not? So it's repeated, no? Here also repeated, optically inactive. Optically inactive. A, B, A, B, repeated. Optically inactive. That's it. Next one. M, A, 3, B, C, D. M A three B C D. Now try to do the combination M A A. Next one A B. Next one C D. Right. Now next combination try to do. What is this? Ah M A A. Next A C combination. Next B D. That's it. Next another combination try it. Try it. So A B A B is not there. No A B combination you can write. Next to A B afterwards uh, A C A C. Next to A D. Right. Now, next any other combination is possible. Check it. Fourth one. M A A. Next uh, A D. A D next one what we will write B C this combination is repeated anywhere A A A B C D A A A C B D A C B C A C B D okay correct this is four combinations is possible so finally number of geometrical isomers equal to number of geometrical isomers equal to four is it optically active or not see the pair is repeated it is optically inactive optically and this is also a a repeated optically inactive inactive next one a b a c a d see no uh, ligands also not repeated and pair also not repeated then it is what optically active if it is optically active definitely it can show two forms one is d form another one is l form so here uh, uh, a a a d b c okay here it is repeated no here it is repeated optically inactive
So finally, I am writing conclusion. Geometrical isomers, how many students? 4. Next, optically active forms, how many students? 2. 2. So don't write only 1. If it is optically active, definitely it can show 2 forms. No? Next, optically inactive forms, how many students? Optically inactive forms equal to so 3. Totally optical isomers, how many? 5. Stereo isomers, 5. So that's it. So with this, we have completed what is this isomerism topic and one more example I am giving what is that M bidentate ligands time bidentate ligands time most of the students are confusing look into this next combination M A A 3 A A 3 means frequently asking question C O E N E N thrice E N thrice plus 3 or else uh, um, you can take CO oxalate also oxalate minus 3 so bidentate ligand so two donor sites no? how you will write octahedral complex means how to write octahedral complex C M octahedral means first write square planar then like Okay, write EN. EN is bidentate ligand, means two donor sites like this. Next to EN, two donor sites. Next to EN, two donor sites. That's it. Okay, now it's mirror image. Can you write its mirror image? If it is optically active, then only we can write mirror image, right or not? So, see students, your metal. Next to square planar again you can draw and above one below one this mirror image means here it will come that's it next one here this one opposite mirror image is nothing but en then it is en it is optically active optically active so why it is optically active all are not in plane all are not in plane not in plane if you take the paper paper and pen just you put whole students and uh, square planar like square is there no the square four ligands and above one below one above one below one above one below one is uh, a square planar one side you can take it one side left hand side you can take it two square planars if you take uh, like a pen and paper so here you just this is top this is this is in same plane this is okay this two one ligands en is there and these two these two it is not in the plane this is top and this is down and this is uh, uh, top down and top so this is not in the same plane finally what i am trying to say all are not in same plane all are not in plane so then it is optically active optically active so clear students and next video i am going to explain EAN rule effect to atomic number and afterwards some important coordination chemistry questions stability constant questions I am explaining please watch subscribe or encourage our channel students thank you thanks for watching